Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed is at the 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos. South Africa is marching on with another lawsuit, this time against the US and the UK. And finally, tankers carrying liquefied natural gas from Qatar restart their course following a halt due to the Red Sea attacks. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani is at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, where he warned of the massive destruction inflicted by Israel's bombardment on Gaza. The Qatari Prime Minister also added that the international community's response to the war is very disappointing for the region, as for the first time in history, calling for a ceasefire has become a controversial term. Now, South African lawyers are currently preparing a lawsuit to be filed at the International Court of Justice against the United States and the United Kingdom, accusing the duo of complicity in Israel's war crimes in Gaza. South Africa believes that both the US and the UK need to be responsible for endorsing genocidal war against the Palestinian people, which has lasted over 100 days. South Africa is currently locked in a court case against Israel for their illegal war crimes, which has seen over 24,000 Palestinians murdered in the Gaza Strip. And finally, four tankers filled with Qatari liquefied natural gas have resumed their course after pausing for several days due to Yemen's maritime attacks in the Red Sea. The Houthis have disrupted 12% of the entire global shipping traffic by stopping ships heading into Israel. This looks to be expanded as the Houthis vow to widen their targets to US ships following US and British strikes in Yemen. Qatari LNG cargoes usually transit in the Suez Canal before heading off to their final destinations in Europe. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.